Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today bringing a video on a game called Minimum, a third person shooter that came out on Steam not too long ago. Now this game is kind of curious, because obviously you have a very unique aesthetic or art style, whatever you want to call it, but there's also a lot of other features that make it very unique and not like other games. If I did have to compare it to two games, then it would be a cross between Loadout and Dota 2. Now, first things first, it's like Loadout because of the third person shooter style, that, and you can also craft your own stuff, like you can craft um, armor in game. So, what's the one I usually go for? I usually go for. Yep, one that does more damage and takes more damage. It just means if I get the drop on enemies, it's better. So, you can make your own armor in game like that. And you can also craft your own weapons. Like this shotgun right now, it's an automatic shotgun. And I crafted that, like myself, and you can give it unique, like, little individual things. And, sorry, my accuracy is terrible here. It's very hard to be explainy whilst talking. Every time you kill an enemy, you can pick up fragments that upgrades your weapon. So, it was level 1 when I started, because I've killed that enemy and another one. If you look at the bottom right by the little shotgun, there's five boxes. And right now, it's level 3. So, every time I kill an enemy and pick up their particles, that will upgrade my weapon. Now, this isn't really a good position right now. This guy's trying to kill me with a sniper. So, I just threw down a minigun, and... He's stealing my weapon particles. Technically, I got the assist, so technically, I would have been stealing it. There's another guy here, Jesus Christ. And, ah, he had a katana, so even with a shotgun at close range, he was better. But either way, that is pretty much how it's like loadout. You can craft your own weapons. It's third-person shooter. You can make armor in-game. I'm quickly going to make the Knight's chest plate because that gives me more health to, to go for that. You can upgrade armor, too, whilst making it. And you can also create blueprints, so you can create different kinds of armor and different kinds of weapons and things like that. That's all um, in the menus and stuff outside of the game, so I'll show you that once this level is over, or once this round is over. So, how is it like Dota? Well, first of all, you will start out weaker than you will be by the end of the game. You can see that in, like, crafting armor. Crafting armor could be the equivalent of buying items and, we and um, stuff in the store. That, and shite. One second, I'm generally the better sniper. Even in my... Oh, I'm shooting the wall, actually, I say that, so... There we go, and... There we go, there's a kill. If I can run over and get his particles, that'd be good. Now, oh sh shit, there's a minigun up there. There goes a minigun, and he stole my particles. Okay, so the objective is, each team has a titan. The titan respawns every few minutes if it's destroyed, and the titan goes through, it knocks down walls, and it gets to the other side. And um, whoever wins is whichever team's titan gets to the other side first. Oh shite. This is a problem. This is a problem right now. Can I try and, like, get the drop on him if I... No, this is... Wait, can I... There we go. I've got shotguns, so if I stay close, then I should win this battle. Unless his guns... No, he's he's got shotgun too. He's just got different... Jo there we go. Okay. Let's pick up those particles and get wiped out by a minigun. Okay, I've shown you those, so I will actually swip cl uh, swap class. I'll show you the bullet helmet katana and show you a little bit of different gameplay. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, the Titan, if it gets to the other side, like, here's the Titan, it just respawned. Every time you kill enemies, or creeps, or whatever you want to call them, then you, they drop particles, and the more particles you collect, the stronger your Titan is. So even though the this guy is going to kill me easily, there's no way I'm going to beat this guy. God damn it. Even though um, both teams get a Titan, if you do a better job at killing the enemy, and farming the creeps that are scattered around the map, then your Titan's stronger, and it will beat the enemy Titan one-on-one. -on -one. You can join in to help fight the Titan, but generally, um, they are just going to be stronger if you kill creeps and enemies, and then they'll be able to do all the work on their own. You do still need to help them take out enemy stationary turrets and walls and things like that, but otherwise, it does a good job on its own. Now, this machine gun, I've never actually used it, but, okay, if I left-click, it fires standard bullets like that. If I right-click, it fires out a burst. I'm not liking this machine gun too much. I probably won't stay on this class for long. What's my... Okay, the katana has a rush, and it has left click to do basic attacks like that. Let's run and collect those particles, if I can. Will it let me get there? No, it won't. Okay, we destroyed their titan, which means if we escort this titan now to their base, then we're about to win. So I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to upgrade my armor so I have more health. And I can actually upgrade that twice. There we go. So now I have more health, and I can upgrade the helmet too. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm moving pretty slow, but I'm doing a lot more damage and I have more health. How's... Oh, okay. Our Titan's destroying their wall. We can't destroy the wall. Only the Titan can do it. The Titan's about to get destroyed, so that's not going to last too long. And, 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 and... Come on. There we go. Okay, I need to get the hell out of it. There's an enemy there. Can I chase him? 
with... Oh, there we go. Okay, killed him. And my katana is now level 3, which means I've got dual katanas, which is pretty damn awesome. These are the creeps I spoke about. Every time you kill them, they drop power-ups power that make your titan stronger. And every now and then a golden one spawns, which make them super strong. Oh shit, there's an enemy here. Um, okay, apparently swords are like really powerful. And from what I just saw then, yeah, they are pretty powerful. But I've never used them before. This sword is like, or well, these swords are bloody insane. They like lock onto the enemy automatically. Alright, now I'm just going to kill these spiders to make our next titan more powerful, seeing as they're both destroyed. But I could be killing the enemy to get their shit instead. Right. How's this? Oh, okay, this gun is now at full level 2. That's level 5. And yeah, as all oh, my katanas are level 4, my swords are level 4. Um, every time you die, the weapon level reset, but you keep your armor. So you need to bear that in mind, and you can't just be really careless. Is that guy a dinosaur? It's like Barney or Oh shit. Can we, can we get him? There's a grenade, there's a grenade. Ooh, jeez. You've probably already noticed, but health does regenerate. So if you just stay out of combat for a few seconds, you'll go back to full health. Some people like that, some people hate it. Let's kill these guys. And, oh, no, this is a bad idea. Can I? Oh, Jesus Christ. Where is he? Uh, I completely lost track of him then. Well, it's going to give me a chance to change class. I'm now going to go to the sniper and shotgun class. This is the other type of shotgun. This one's much more um, standard shotgun instead of fully auto. And it has an ability where if you right click, you boost in the air like that. So all the guns and um, weapons have special abilities as well as just standard fire. Now, let's finish off my armor. I'll upgrade my helmet once more. And as far as legs go, uh, run faster, max health, or more melee damage. I'll go for running faster, because if I have a shotgun, that's just going to be that's gonna be really useful. So I'll upgrade that again. And I don't have enough resources to upgrade it again, so... Shit, can I... If I get up here, I should be safe. Where, where did he come from? Oh no, he's down there. Ooh, I'm gonna throw down a minigun. And... Okay, his gun's probably more powerful than mine, because I only just respawned, but I've got an ally helping me out here. So can we... There we go, we got him. I must have upgraded my shotgun by one level. And is there enough to get... No, I'm still on level 2 shotgun now. But, if I... Yeah, my sniper, seeing as it's my primary weapon, it already starts at level 3. So, I should be able to get a few easy kills with a sniper. Sniping in this game is generally... Very, very good. I really like sniping, and I kind of want to craft some more of the snipers, see what they're like. Because there's one hit, and I could have killed him, man, if I wasn't so bloody slow. Kill this guy. Nope, nope, I am I am very, very much dead if I stay here much longer. Weave between the titans, and I'm dead. You know what, I think I preferred my auto shotgun, so I'm going to stick to that. Yeah, the speedy shotgun is good, but this one just does more damage, and I prefer it. And it has a faster reload too, I believe. So. We have destroyed one of their walls, they haven't destroyed any of ours. Their titan, however, is at level 31, and ours is only at level 19. And there's our first wall, but we killed the titans, so... Um, this game is in our favour right now, but both titans are dead, so that's, that could very much change. Can we finish him off? How is he not dead? There we go. And... Titan... Pa okay. I, um, I might just go for a really powerful titan, which means I might just farm spiders right now. I think that's what these guys are doing, or are they PvPing right now? Well, I'm going to throw down a minigun here so we can stay here and farm safely. What? There's like enemies competing for the farm, but I don't know why, there's three of us here. Yeah, our titan's at 9 and theirs is at 2, so we've definitely got the advantage here. There's another enemy. That guy's got like a beam weapon, that is so cool. But I need to get out of here before I, before I die. Okay, now there's a lot of enemies over there, and I'm pretty much on my own. What I will do is upgrade my leggings once more, and then... Oh no, they're actually allies. So... Oh, this guy's nearly dead. This guy's nearly dead. This guy's... I was reloading then. God damn it. How is he... Ah, oh, I hate it when your weapons are weak. When they're level 5, it's like you absolutely dominate with them. But right now, that is not the case. There we go, there's an assist. He's going to steal the cube, so I don't get any of that. And regen health. It seems as though we've actually farmed all the crystalline spiders there are. I think there's another... Sp yeah, there's another spawn point over here, so let's go over here. And ours is 28, there's a 17. Ours is 30, there's a 17. So our Titans can essentially be twice as powerful right now. Barney the Dinosaur is staring at me, and I'm not sure what he's doing. Shouldn't we be out like killing players right now? I might try and utilize my Sniper a bit more, because I think the enemy is waiting at long distance. The titans are activated, so the creep phase is over, and now it's another push to their base. I will try and get a few shots off on their Titan, so instantly make it a little bit weaker. But now their enemy has wisened up to that, so they're going after me. But I should be able to... Yep, there's one, and... God damn it. 
The sniper does have quite a low wind down, I mean quite a high wind down time, so you can't just spam shots. And I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm safe. I'm safe. Alright, let's back up our Titan. Make sure the enemy aren't shooting it. That is an ally. I'll take a few shots on the enemy Titan whilst our team is fighting their team. And you see, yeah, our Titan. Oh no, how's our Titan taking so much damage? There we go. Our Titan is really powerful. It punches pretty damn hard. So I'll just carry on shooting their Titan, get some damage, hopefully destroy it first. And this isn't actually going to be as heavily in our favour as I thought. I really wanted... There we go. Okay, that Titan's destroyed. Art has half health. So let's get rid of these guys who are trying to destroy the Titan. Oh crap. Oh crap. You see, swords beat shotguns at close range. Snipers beat swords generally at long range. So I, I don't know what shotguns are supposed to beat. Our Titan is still beating on the wall. But, oh crap. Oh, for God's sake, this guy again. Yeah, I'm not going to beat him. His, his equipment's too powered up compared to me. We did destroy their wall, however, which means we've destroyed now two of their walls, and they only have their power core left. Oh, our Titan actually ended up getting to their power core and destroying it. So we ended up winning this game. So every time you win a match, you get crafting materials, which are all these little things. So now if I go back to the main menu, I can show you the crafting system and the ins and outs like that. If I go here, these are the loadouts. That's where you can equip your primary weapon, your secondary weapon, and your device. Those are all the different devices available. And these are blueprints, all the things you can get, like all the different types of armor. There are lots of different types, and you can make all these blueprints, which means you can craft them in-game. So, um, yeah, these will like, completely change the way you play, and effectively what class you are. And then this is a workshop where you have schematics, and you can create all the different weapons available. But you have to unlock them first. Every time you get a level up, you get an unlock token, and you can use them to create the schematics, and then you can craft the weapons. So, it works like that. And um, yeah, the game like is currently in early access, I should mention that, but everything you've seen is pretty promising. I'm looking forward to seeing how this game develops, I'm looking forward to just seeing what happens, um, whether or not it has a decent community, whether or not it will last. I would definitely say it's worth looking into. I, I'll have links in the dis uh, links for the store page in the description and everything like that. If you like what you saw, let me know. Let me know where you think the game could be better, let me know like what's good about it, and yeah. This has been me, Evans with Z111. Please rate and if you enjoyed the video, and this is me out. Peace.